Congratulations. Who the fish on the top? Hey, hi. Love you. Uh, huge congratulations to you. Now you've got the TBS championship over your Thank shoulder you, on display. How did it feel to finally step in and make your in-ring debut tonight with AEW? Okay, let me set this up. Let me do that for you. Okay. Wow. How did it finally feel after a year of being away from something that I've loved since I was a little girl, wrestling has not only changed my life, but saved my life. And coming here to AEW has saved my life, Tony. It's given me new hopes, new dreams, new chances, new opportunities. And tonight, being here in AEW, celebrating five years of AEW, being here with Willow, who is legit one of the greatest women's I've ever stepped into the ring with. Like, wow. And I've been doing this for 14 years and she is legit one of the best. Amazing. Um, Renee, to answer your question, it feels so incredible. I've been waiting for this moment um, really ever since I got signed to AEW, but really for the past two years of not knowing where I was going to be what was going to happen after leaving WWE, what was going to be next for me. Because a lot of times in wrestling, people think WWE is the only place. And I think tonight we showed the wrestling world that it's not the only place. AEW is where the best wrestle. Woo! And we had the greatest show tonight, celebrating five years of this incredible company where we cannot be denied and we are just gonna show wrestling fans around the world that this is the place to celebrate wrestling because this is the best place to be. So it feels amazing, Renee. Love it. Let's open up the, the floor to uh, media. Any questions you guys have for Mercedes? Hi, Mercedes. Corey Lee with the Wrestling Observer. Um, you mentioned in an interview uh, earlier this week that you were cleared at least to, uh, to for contact in December. Mm -hmm. Was there a reason that we waited until this show to kind of get you back into the loop and obviously you did do some training in Mexico and other places. Was that was that the the, the plan in regards to uh, your comeback? Well, me and Tony have been talking for a very long time. Long time. So people don't even actually know when I got signed to AEW. Um, the beginning of the year we talked, signed the deal, made it happen, and we were really talking about when was the perfect place and time for me to debut in the ring. We knew March 13th was going to be amazing in the Boston Garden when Tony called me and said, I have the perfect place for you to debut. Boston, baby. I was like, Tony, Tony, you are just speaking my language. You are just speaking the money. And then he said, we are celebrating AEW's five year anniversary here in Las Vegas for double or nothing. Can you wait? I said, bitch. <laughs> I've been waiting for a whole year, of course I can wait, I'm patient. So this is the perfect place, the grandest place that I can make my in-ring debut. And as you can see, money changes everything. Thank you. Next question. Hi, Mercedes. Uh, my name is uh, Amber Nicola from Bodyslam.net. I just wanted to ask you, you've done so much all over the world, um, from your start in chaotic wrestling in Boston to winning all these championships. And what would you say to the little girl that looks up to you and says, I can do it, I think, but everyone keeps telling me I can't. What would you say to her? I would say, you're not asking my little girl, right? Or just any little girl. Um, I would tell any little girl, just look at women's wrestling and look have, look at how far we've come in the past five years. We can go back in maybe 10 years. And just now, this year. Um, and I would tell them, if I can do it, you can do it too. I was that little girl that people didn't believe in that said that I was too small that I would not make it into wrestling, that I would be absolutely nothing, and that I would just be a good hand. I would never be a champion. And now here I am, 
the TBS Women's Champion, um, the face of TBS. So I would just tell them, if Mercedes Monet can do it, then absolutely you can do it too. Question right here. Oh, sir. Hey, Mercedes. Kaden Lee, Russell Purist. I'm sure you have some unfinished business in Japan after your run over there got cut short in May 2023. Is there anybody in Japan who you would like to defend your TBS championship against? Mm. I mean, June 30th, we have Forbidden Door just right around the corner. Tony, yeah. so I don't know. Tanahashi-san, yes. do you have any good opponents for me in New Japan and Stardom? Mm. You think about that, right? You call Tony, and Tony will call me. I got you. And uh, Money Khan will just will just collaborate and choose the best opponent <laughs> for June 30th at the Door. I love it. Yeah? Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes. Do it. <laughs> yes. So the way. We'll take one more question for Mercedes. Good evening, everybody on stage. Chair Ruiz from Raider Nation Radio. Uh, Tony Mercedes, this, this one's for you guys. Uh, you had one of the best shows of the year last year in El Paso, uh, both in ring and in the stands. Are you guys interested on in returning to El Paso? And Mercedes, I know that Eddie Guerrero was your idol. How important would it be for you to have your first ever televised match in that city in case you guys return because you've only done house shows over there? That's a great question. We had a great show in El Paso. I would love to go back, and I think the Texas fans have been some of the best AEW fans. Uh, it's a huge, huge state. Texas covers a lot of ground, a lot of history in pro wrestling, but a lot of physical land. So we've done shows all over Texas, and I think it's been one of our best states, one of the best places we visited in El Paso in particular. It was a super hot crowd. I would love to go, and Mercedes, I think it'd be great if you wrestled over. I would love to go as well as Anybody knows about me, Eddie Guerrero is my absolute idol and hero. And I love every time I'm in El Paso because that airport is always just filled with wrestling fans and they always give me memorabilia of Eddie Guerrero. So I appreciate that so much. So when we're there, I absolutely would love to defend my TBS championship there. Thank you. Yes. Mercedes, congratulations on tonight. Congratulations on this championship. So happy to see you back and healthy yeah. and doing your thing. I would just like to say, since I am from Boston, I put the boss in Boston. Congratulations, Celtics. I'll see you in the finals. I'll be sitting courtside, but I have to go celebrate at the Wynn Hotel. Um, I've got to do a big Tony. Congrats. And you're invited too, oh, so congrats. please show up to my after party. Let's go. Um, I have a big cake, because I have a new face <laughs> of TBS. And I just want to say, I love AEW. I love, I love this place so much. It's so near and dear to my heart. And thank you so much, Tony Khan, for the opportunity and for letting me be here. Thank you, Chan. Yes, thank you. Let's go. You want some cake? Come to the party. <laughs> we go from one champion on to another. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for our new international champion.